Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use Bluetooth keyring tags to trigger events in Home Assistant. To do the job, we need ESP32 development board as they support Bluetooth. Also, we need iTag as our Bluetooth keyring tag. In addition to them, USB cable is needed to program our ESP development board. These tags can be purchased for a couple of dollars and run for several months on a coin battery. Using Bluetooth feature of ESP32, we can use these tags to control any automations. I will start from scratch by adding ESP Home to our Home Assistant and start programming our ESP32 development board. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done already as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. To start, connect your ESP32 development board to your Home Assistant operating system. I'm running my Home Assistant using Raspberry, so I connect my ESP32 development board to one of the ports of Raspberry using USB cable. After that, navigate to Configuration in Home Assistant on the left panel. Select Add-ons, Backups and Supervisor. At the bottom of the screen, click on Add-on Store. In Add-on Store page, on the top right corner of the screen, click on three dots. Select Repositories. Here, you should paste the URL of ESP Home repository, then click on Add. If you do not have the URL, navigate to Getting Started with ESP Home and Home Assistant page. You can find the link in description. Click on Add Repository. By clicking on Add Repository, a new page will open. In this section, enter the URL of your Home Assistant. Then click on Update. Click on Open Link. This is the URL of ESP Home Repository. Also, you can find it in description. Then click on Add. ESP Home Repository is added to Home Assistant. Find it on Add-on Store page. Select it. In its page, click on Install and wait till the add-on installs. After installing the add-on is completed, Click on Start. Wait a few seconds till the add-on starts. After a few seconds, click on Open Web UI. This error means that the add-on is not ready yet. Wait a few seconds more, then click on Open Web UI. Okay, in this page, click on New Device. Still, ESP32 development board is connected to Home Assistant operating system. Click on Continue. Set a name for your node, or let's say ESP32 development board. Lowercase letters, numbers, or dash. Click on Next. Select the type of device that this configuration will be installed on. I select pick a specific board. From the drop down list, select the board. Then click on next. Click install. As the device is connected to Home Assistant, I select this item, plug into the computer running ESP Home dashboard for devices connected via USB to the server. It detected our board, select it. Installation is started, wait till it completes. 
During this procedure, Home Assistant may ask your Wi-Fi credentials, Wi-Fi name and password. In order to connect your ESP32 development board to Home Assistant via Wi-Fi, you can add them there. If not, you can add them at the Wi-Fi credentials later, as I will show you how. Wait till installation completes. It may take several minutes. Installation is completed. I click on stop. This is our ESP32 YAM file. By clicking on edit, we can edit it. You can find it by navigating to configuration, add-ons, backups, and supervisor, then clicking on ESP Home, selecting Open Web UI. I click on edit. In order to connect your ESP32 development board to your home assistant via Wi-Fi, in Wi-Fi section here, as I highlighted, in front of SSID, enter the name of your Wi-Fi network. In front of password, enter the password of your Wi-Fi network. To use our iTag with Home Assistant, we have to find MAC address of our Bluetooth tag. For doing so, we must add a line to esphome.yamd file, this file, which is open. Below captive portal, enter this line. You can find the line in description. After that, click on install. Still, our ESP development board is connected to Home Assistant via USB cable, so I select plug into the computer running ESP Home dashboard. Select the device, wait till installation completes. Installation is completed, I click on stop. At this part of the video, I disconnected ESP32 development board from Home Assistant as the connection was established using USB cable. Now I connect ESP development board to power or let's say connect power to it. This USB cable is only power. As you see, Home Assistant is showing that ESP32 is offline after connecting power to the board it shows the board is online. The connection is now established via Wi-Fi. Okay, I click on logs of ESP32, our development board. To see where to find it, navigate to configuration in Home Assistant, click add-ons, backups, and supervisor, select ESP Home, click open web UI. Here we have our notes. Click on Lux. I take out our tag from its box. In order to use this device, we have to find MAC address of our Bluetooth tag. For doing so, we added a line to our ESP YAM file. That line sets up the Bluetooth stack on the device and listen for available devices. That line sets up the Bluetooth stack on the device and listens for available devices. To switch on the tag, press and hold the button for three seconds until you hear the beep sound twice. After switching on the tag, in Home Assistant a log file, the log of ESP32. You see that Home Assistant found our device, iTag. 
this is the MAC address of our tag write it down we need it in our program okay click on close it's time to start programming our development board to use this tag in ESP home select edit on our ESP32 development board to edit the related YAML file below this line the last line we must enter some lines below this line paste these lines or let's say codes you can find the codes in description change the MAC address to the MAC address of your device the iTag change IDs and names to whatever you want for example here I set an ID iTag red red button or name I set it iTag after pasting the codes let's talk about the last lines this is related to battery status of the device have in mind that many tags will not provide this service so you will not see a valid value if not you can remove this from the configuration file the YAM file after pasting the codes and changing the names IDs and entering the MAC address of your device click on install at this time our board is connected to home assistant wirelessly so I select wirelessly wait till in installing edited YAMD file is done on our development board installation is completed I click on stop before continuing the video uh, it's better to set a static IP address to your ESP32 development board or let's say assign a static IP address to your board how to do that in ESP home add-on click on edit related to the YAM file of your related board in Wi-Fi section below the password paste these codes you can find the codes in description set the IPs related to your network you can find the IP address of your ESP32 development board by using IP scanners or checking your router then click on install select wirelessly as our board is connected to our network wirelessly wait till installation completes okay programming our ESP32 development board is finished and we have set or let's say assign a static IP address to it I click on stop it's time to add integration to our home assistant in home assistant navigate to configuration select devices and services you see that home assistant has discovered ESP32 development board by clicking on configure and clicking on submit in this popped up window you can assign an area for your board then click finish the board is ready to be used if home assistant didn't recognize the board automatically you can add it manually let's delete the board and add it manually in configuration devices and services at the bottom of the page on the right click on add integration search for ESP home select it in host section enter the IP address of your board then click submit finish okay our board has one device and three entities I click on one device you see we have the battery status the button and the iTag the iTag is on by pressing the button of the iTag home assistant shows that it becomes 
on. If I turn off iTag by pressing and holding the button for five seconds till hearing the beep sound, the long beep sound. After a few seconds, Home Assistant shows that the iTag is off. As you see, the battery status is changed to unknown. You see, Home Assistant is showing that the iTag is off. Let's switch it on. Home Assistant shows that the iTag is on and it's working. Integrating iTag Bluetooth keyring with Home Assistant is done using ESP32 development board. You can create and run or let's say control scenes and automations using this device. By pressing its button, Home Assistant shows that the button is on. So you can trigger events and scenes. Note that maximum three devices can be used with each ESP32 development board. For adding more than three iTags to your home assistant, you have to use extra ESP32 development boards. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.